Hey, it's Derek. We're back for another episode of Cooking Under Quarantine. Today is going to be one of my summer special sides. Uh, this is a cucumber salad that I got a long time ago. And um, it's very light. It's very healthy. It has a lot of taste to it. Um, it takes about a day to make. Actually put together, it's, it's pretty quick. Just peel some cucumbers and put the dill and the uh, chives and put in the vinegar. Um, but you have to let it sit overnight to get the full effect. So it's got to sit for 24 hours. Um, in the juice and kind of almost pickle itself. Now it's not going to be a pickle, um, but you are putting vinegar on a cucumber, so technically I guess it would be pickled. But it is a um, it is a dill cucumber salad, and it's not mayonnaise-y, not oily, nothing. It's just it's basically four ingredients. We got dill, fresh dill, um, chives, four large cucumbers. And uh, some white wine vinegar and some rice vinegar. Uh, it's important that we use these. Um, I have run out of rice vinegar and used white vinegar, but you definitely need the white wine vinegar for it. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to start the prep work and get you guys started on this uh, great summer dish. Okay, so we're back. So what I've done in the meantime is I've peeled the cucumbers and I've cut them up. And I'm saying, Derek, what's going on? You're skipping steps. I can't see what you're doing. Don't worry. I got you. Got you. Let me do one right here so you'll know. Now I did this to the other three already. So I cut the ends off. If there's any, like when you peel it, if there's any of that rind at all, get rid of it because it'll make the whole batch bitter. Any but, you know, any bit of, that's why I take the, the ends off too. And there's also, uh, when we make homemade pickles, which I'll make a video of, um, one of the things you do with pickles, you gotta make sure you take that little stem off because that'll make the whole batch bitter. It's weird how that works. So what I've done with these cucumbers, it's basically I take them, I peel them, cut the ends off, cut them in half, and I'm just going to take out the seeds. I'm just going to haul them out like a canoe, basically. Like a canoe. I don't want any seeds in it. You might want seeds in yours, but in this recipe, um, it's cleaner without the seeds. You can have the seeds in there, but um, I don't recommend it. Uh, so then I'm going to take them and just make decent chunks out of them. That's it. Mm. How much does it look like? A little used. So, I get all these in there. Next up, I am going to um, wash the scallions uh, and then I'll cut them up and I'll show you that right now. Okay, so I just washed them off. What we're going to do with these is just take the tips off. We don't want these. We don't need those. Some of them could be good, not good, I don't know. Um, and then you just kind of have these together. And we're just going to make sort of small little circles. Not super big, not microscopic, but we want. replant these in your garden and they will regrow so I mean I always say these and even though it's cold out I mean it's April and I'm in New England it's still cold out but I have a uh, herb barrel that I have which just I put herbs in and I have probably about 10 of these out there right now that I've used over the last two months and even though it's cold it is sitting out there sort of in a catatonic state but uh, come about another three weeks I'm gonna take them all dig them up and then bury them and you'll be surprised that these re will regrow and uh, they regrow thick ones because they're not starting from seed. These are all roots though, replant and they will regrow, believe it or not. So now I'm gonna insert these. Insert. Excuse my words better. I'm gonna place these. We're talking about cucumbers and use the word insert, you gotta be careful. I'm gonna place all these into the, uh, into the bag. And the next up is, I'm going to wash my dill and get that done. Now this is a this is a this isn't a sprig. A sprig of dill is like one sprig. This is a whole thing. So we're probably gonna use half of this. So what I'm gonna do is break this in half and save the other half. And the trick with this to keep this fresh in your refrigerator is oops is uh take a paper cloth, paper towel, just stamp it a little bit and roll it up like you're rolling a cigar. Uh, that moisture will keep this going good. This is really good. 
I only buy this typically for the cucumber salad, but that cut up in a regular salad tastes really good too. So I'm just gonna wash this, get it prepped, and then move back. I'll show you how I cut it up. Okay, so I just washed the dill. What I'm trying to do is really just use the top part. So I'm trying to stay away from any of the stems because that's not gonna help our, our dill. And I would like to take this and just roll it up and bend it in half. Do I see any big stems? Let me take them out. This one. And then he's gonna basically finally chop it. Now there will be some stems, you can't get them all out. You just try to avoid as many as you can. And then we're just gonna cross chop it. And we're trying to get this as fine as we can. The finer we can get it, the more oils will be released, the more dill flavor will be in it. Basically, we're just going to do two tablespoons of sugar and not heaping. We're just going to put two in, and basically, the recipe is going to be two, two, and two. So, two spoons of sugar. And if you do less cucumbers and less thing, you just do you know less uh, sugar and salt. But these, these mixtures are exactly the same, they're all the same. So, two tablespoons. White wine vinegar. And two tablespoons. That's a new bottle. Jesus. It's not really easy to pull this thing out. No. Yes, I know, like I always say, this is not a high production. This is not good at pull up with a butcher knife, but I think it's gonna work. All right. Okay. Oof. It's a little funky, man. I'll tell you that. It smells a little funky for sure. All right. Now what I'm going to do is just mix this up. Oh, it already smells like it. It's crazy. And that's how it's going to present. I mean, um, you know, obviously you can put it in a bowl or something like that, but... This is a side I use during uh, cookouts. If I go in, we have a side like a nice potato salad, which people love during the summer. This is a light, so if you got like, I want to say vegans, like they're, you know, whatever, but if you have someone who doesn't want anything with uh, meat in it or anything, this is a really nice side. I like this myself. It's healthy, it's light, it's really fresh and crisp, and it doesn't have that weird vinegar taste because it's kind of pickle with this. And what I would do with this is you leave this, you have that minimum of 24 hours in the fridge. Um, Typically, I do a plating ceremony with this, but because I'm actually going to wait 20, 48 hours to have this with some steak tips, um, I won't do that. But this is what it's going to look like when it presents. It is delicious. Um, when I go places, like if I'm going to go to a cookout, I bring this, people mow it down. Like, it is gobbled up. And it's, it's a wicked cheap. I think this costs like five bucks to make. Um, but, you know, you can bring it in the bag or present it in a bowl, whatever you want to do at a party. But 
um, for a cookout, this is one of those things you can bring where people are like, wow, who made the cucumber, who made the cucumber salad? It's delicious. Um, everyone eats it up and you could obviously do more cucumbers in this too. Now remember the ratio uh, for this one is going to be if you use four cucumbers, it's two t tablespoons of everything. If you use two cucumbers, it's one tablespoon. And if you use three, uh, six cucumbers, it would be three, uh, three tablespoons. So just use that as a simple math when you make these big batches to do this. But I can promise you that my family loves it and so will yours. Hey, for my family and yours, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay safe in this crazy COVID-19 thing. And uh, thanks for watching another episode. Hope we'll have some other stuff coming soon.